sweet chariot coming for to carry me home sweet love sweet, love. sweet chariot, chariot coming for to carry me Dang it! Why well, my truck ain't going? Oh no, not now! I know, maybe I'll call Raven Pong to give me a lift! <sighs> Another week of doing this task. I wish it was done already. Great Stark Land. <sighs> He called me this time of night. So, Barley? Howdy, Ravenpaw! Firestar told me to go home! After he told me, he, I couldn't help you with this task! Cause I had a little laughing gags, so he kicked me out! Oh, Barley, you know I would have accepted your help. But he's just looking out for you, that's all. I love you so much that I would risk my life for you. I know that. I love you too. I have given up everything to be with you. Even my eight months of apprentice training by Tiger Claw and a $6,000 loan to cover my rent on a mansion inherited by my father. Anyways, are you home yet, Barley? No, my truck ain't going to gallop any farther. I'm only quarter way there. I think my engine died. Can you come pick me up? Sure. Where are you? I'm pulled over on the US 95 exit of Interstate 10 East. Oh, well, just my luck. I'll be over there in just two hours. Sit tight. I sat on tighter things than this, just so you know. <laughs> okay, enough of that, Farley. This is a PG rated channel. <laughs> Whoa, did I just break the fourth wall? It's okay, a lot of YouTubers break the fourth wall all the time. Anyways, I'm on my way. Send a tow truck there. If there's anything else you need in the future, I'll be here for you. Thanks, Raven Paul. No problem. I'll figure out at some point when uh, you could help me with this task, and I'll tell you. Love you, Barley. I love you too, Raven Paul. I'll see you when I get there. Yo, what up guys? Firestar here with another part of the Let's Play TTR with Ravenpaw Little Old Man task special. For this part, uh, we have to, comp we have to uh, go fishing for a talking toad. Well, the reason why Ravenpaw is in the is in Daisy Gardens is because uh, the uh, in the intro sequence for this part, Barley is traveling home. Well, supposedly traveling home when uh, he uh, when he gets stranded, and he asked Ravenpaw to give him a ride. This week, so far, has been pretty good. I. Uh, we went to uh, the guitar festival last Wednesday. Oh yay! I got the talking toad. Yeah. So we went to festival and we uh, it was pretty good up until uh, up until our second song called La Llorona. Which I, which we miss, which we mistake, and uh, they they marked us down for that, and they 
You know what what they marked us down to? A <laughs> they marked us down for a two for accuracy and posture. Like that's that's just you know you know what the uh, the stupid part about it is a the lowest score for a one which by the way is a high, the highest rank is a is a ninety one point is a ninety two percent yeah the lowest ranking for a one is a ninety two percent apparently. And it's not, it's not like a, it's an A, well, it's not like, well, 90, the score, the average score that we got was, well, in percentage, was a 91.25, which technically would still be an A, would still be the highest grade. So it would still count for one, but no, they 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 score it differently than uh, than usual, which I which I think is kind of stupid. And the and Miss Palmer confronted the judge on that, saying that the ninety two was shouldn't be the lowest score for a one. <laughs> It should be a 90 for the lowest score. Like, it would, would make more sense. But the, but they said it was, that, the, that it still stands, and there's nothing they could do about it. Oh, the, while we were waiting to be, uh, called up there was a uh, there was a guy I think he was like the one of the directors there uh, he uh, he had a uh, hope for all shirts which which is one of the shirts from my from my church that I go to which which was which in my opinion it was it was pretty pretty cool like not many not many people that I known outside of that I met outside of church would uh, would be wearing that shirt so it would be it would have been it was uh, it was kind of kind of incredible to <laughs> I just, yeah, I just asked him, uh, like, like, I just said, nice shirt, and of course he said thanks, and I asked him, what church, which location do you go to, which we, we uh, go to the, uh, we go to the church in Henderson, by the way, which which is like a little further down than uh, Las Vegas, so and uh, and because of the fact that uh, <sighs> well, and and uh, he told me that well he said back that he goes to the Summerlin convent summer he goes to the Summerlin location which is uh, which is about the same distance as uh, Henderson but on the opposite side of town so it was it was pretty nice to see someone in that shirt <laughs> Yay! Finally, the Blizzard Wizard. Oh, anyways, back back to the back to the score. 
The uh, <laughs> yeah, the judges doesn't re don't really know how to count or read <laughs> as well. <laughs> like seriously, what? <laughs> What kind of uh, what kind of judge doesn't know like what to <laughs> what kind of score did they did we get <laughs> like come on other than other than the couple notes we missed on La Llorona, it was it was pretty it was great that one would have disturbed a one. But, the, but, this, this could have been our, this could have been our year. Seriously. <laughs> this could have been our year. Like, this was senior year. That we could have gotten a, a one. Oh, that is certainly a talking toad. What does he say, Toad? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the Toad? The Toad has spoken. We need dessert. Bring us some ice cream. Bones from, from Sticky George. The Toad likes red bean flavored ice cream for some reason. Sticky George's building is called the Melting Ice Cream Bar on this street. Okay. And he's gonna say the same thing with that to us. With, he's gonna say the same thing with Dr. Thunder. And yeah, the only uh, <laughs> at least uh, at least Friday after school, she uh, she bought us all. Dairy Queen Blizzards <laughs> for us to pick up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a, that's that's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a two. It's not as perfect as a one, but what could we say? What could I say? Uh, also, uh, <laughs> y'all know that last Friday, well, y'all know that last Saturday was the St. Patrick's Day. And, uh, because it was it was on a Saturday, the my school my the student council thought it was a good idea to celebrate it to celebrate it on uh, on that Friday before so. Oh, that! Oh, the melting ice cream bar. It's right there. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll TP to him when he loads up. Uh, what else? Oh, and. Uh, and she let us, uh, we got to watch the, uh, we got, we got to watch Coco on, uh, DVD, which I, which by the way, I already, I already saw a, a few months ago, a couple months ago with my mom. So, so the wizard sent you. I'm sad to say we're fresh out of ice cream cones. You, 
A bunch of cogs came and took them. The big cheeses stole them. Okay, the big cheeses. Mr. Hollywood's? Oh, come on. You have to. Raven Falls to get them from the big cheese, and uh, Dr. Thunder has to get them from a Miss. From Mr. Hollywood's. Oh. Oh. Didn't I tell you that uh, he maxed to his sound? Yeah. And uh, we both got our uh, new uh, tune up gags, bamboo canes. Anyways, uh, we're gonna. Well, since the uh, accuracy, the pickup accuracy is perfect, uh, it's, it wouldn't be that hard to do this within a this, uh, within a short time period. But just because, but because we have different, you have to have different cogs. Uh, it would be a very, it would be a little more difficult. But, anyways, I'll BRB when I complete that part of the task. Might take more than a day. But, well, if it, if it does, then, <laughs> oh, see you tomorrow. Well, now. Oh, uh, for English class, we've been uh, we've been finishing up this multi-genre research project. It's uh, it's basically like a uh, it's basically like a research research project on like whatever. Whatever we want that that we care about, uh, that school appropriate. Uh, I did uh, I did mine on the benefits of modern medicine because uh, let's let's face it we're we're living in the future and I uh, I'm really fascinated by. By the way that lives are being saved every day, and I'm uh, I'm grateful that I'm thankful for the the miracles that we can accomplish with with this level of healthcare, and I really really wanted to see happen in other countries especially third world countries yeah i <laughs> yeah that's what i did mine on and my uh, my aunt came to church with us yesterday, well, last Sunday, this, this last Sunday. <laughs> yeah, she never went to church before, at least not the one I go to, but yeah, it was it was a def it was definitely a good experience for her. Yeah, it would have it would have it has been really nice for her to experience what God can do in her life. I well, it was a uh, Finally, it'll load up. 
Well, I, you know, BRB until we get this part of the task done. Then we'll move on from there. Okay, we're back. Finally. Uh, as it turns out, that part of the task was was pretty easy for us. Uh, we were lucky enough to have invasions for both of them. So it took us only a day more to uh, to do to uh, to film this part of the task. I wish it, I wish both of them I wish it, all tasks were easier this easy but they're not whatevs we'll uh, we'll just uh, turn this in thanks for bringing back the ice cream cones here's one for little old man Okay, well, we're gonna turn those him, those, wait, we're gonna turn those into him on the next part of this special. So, until then, Click the like button, subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications of my next upload. Uh, keep in touch. Don't forget to be awesome. The legendary flame colored Tom signing off. Come on. There we go. That's the way to end it. To close off the video, click the like button, subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications of my next upload. Donate to my Patreon. Till next time, the legendary Flame Color Tom signing off.